The federal government has struck a deal with Pfizer to get tens of millions more Americans vaccinated against COVID-19. Under the terms of the agreement, Pfizer will supply 100 million additional doses of its vaccine by July 1st. That doubles the number of vaccine deliveries to the U.S., helping offset a potential shortage next year. The vaccine isn't the only thing slowing the spread of COVID-19. A new device we first showed you on KDK News at 730 promises to fight the virus by zapping it in fast moving air. As Dr. Maria Simbra reports, the new technology is now being used at a local hospital. To keep the air clean, hospitals use positive pressure in some places to keep microbes from getting in and negative pressure in other places to clear them out. But in the era of COVID-19, hospitals will take a little extra help. We are using the nanowave technology as sort of a uh, belt and suspenders kind of system to add extra safety. It was one of those technologies that when we heard about it, we thought we this isn't something that we could pass up with the amount of community spread. To rid the air of bacteria and viruses, including the novel coronavirus, St. Clair Hospital says it is the first in the area to use the nanowave. The uh, device has UV light within it that does not escape the device and inactivates the virus in the device. So the data has been tested by independent sources, the NIH. The data um, appears to, to show a decrease in viruses and bacteria in the, in the air. St. Clair Hospital has installed wall units in the emergency department waiting room with plans to add these in other waiting areas, patient rooms, and break areas by the end of the year. It's not about, you know, the money. It's always about, you know, how much we can do and to benefit our patients and benefit our staff and our employees to make a safer environment. Um, so the investment is ours. It's St. Clair Hospital's investment uh, to do just that. Infection rates will be continually monitored. With the amount of community spread and exposure outside of the hospital, we wouldn't necessarily be able to correlate directly to one piece of technology since we have all of the other prevention measures in place. And just because the system is running, that doesn't mean people can go back to the old normal. Regardless of vaccination, regardless of the nano wave, we still have to do best practice to prevent the spread of COVID. This is really to minimize what's in the air. We still would want to mask and protect ourselves and our staff and our patients from COVID. An extra layer of precaution. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.